Hello fishes and welcome back to another one of our Smash Bros murals. Um, I, I apologize for me again. This is the second time in a while or you know, too soon. Um, but Rose unfortunately started a new job and just has been really tired. You know, different, different, working with a different schedule. You know, so that that's the reason she is not doing it this week. Um, but so this week we are doing Snake from the Metal Gear series. Um, I don't know too much about the Metal Gear series i've played the first one and that was at my cousin's house so i never actually got to finish it uh but i do love the character in smash bros i think it's really fun you don't have too many like actual human proportion style fighters um so i do like him for that he is unique in that aspect we picked this pose <laughs> because the box, we, you know, we had to incorporate the box somewhere into this, this piece just because of how much, you know, it became a meme with the Smash Bros. community and they even, you know, acknowledge it in the World of Light uh, animation at the beginning. When he's just hiding in his box, hoping that it will save him from being destroyed. I really like how this one turned out. It definitely is... It's, it's, it's a more fun one than, than we've seen in a while, and I just really like how it turned out. Uh, but for the what I've played of Metal Gear, I'll kind of talk about the... The general, whatever. Remember, this was way back when. I think I was like, what, like seven or eight when I played it at my cousin's house, something like that. Um, but I remember it takes. What was it? I think it was down like. Um, Sorry, I am really terrible at this. I'm trying to remember. I should have written some stuff down. I remember there was something about nuclear weapons and some kind of robot. This one's called Rex? Question mark? Um, and then there was like the evil agency, government, the evil bad guys take over this compound um, and like hold it ransom for like. X amount of dollars, billion, two billion, something like that. I don't remember. Um, and then, in order to save the day, uh, Snake is pulled out of retirement to, you know, save the day. And the other really like major thing that I remember was one of the bad guys was Snake's twin brother, I think something like that i again years ago don't remember too much never finished the game so i don't even actually know how it ends so there's that uh yeah i just i the biggest like the bad guy was the one of the bad guys was snake's twin brother or looked like him or something like that um next i'll talk about his uh alternate skins in Smash Bros. Um, skins. Can I pull up? Can I pull up my list? I think I should have had this ready. Um, so, I mean... They're, not, they're all pretty basic on like, the alterations. It's not really anything major change. It's mostly just color scheme. And I, I do think I like the... 
either the blue, the light blue one, or like the the snow one, just because I feel like. I mean, I'm I'm me as a person, I just like cold weather more. So the idea of having the the cold weather camo, you know, is more appealing to me. It's a lot more fun to to have those options. I think I typically. I think if I ever do play Snake, I do go with the blue one. Um, but that's just me. <laughs> you guys are pick your favorites, do what you want to do. Um, I used to play. I would never. I would never say I uh, was mained Snake, but I did enjoy playing him in Brawl when he was like first announced, and I remember seeing the. The announcement trailer for him in Brawl, and I just thought it was really fun, kind of keeping it in universe to have the the, the commander guy you know, do like a briefing on Mario it was just a lot of fun, in my opinion. I thought it was really cool. Um, jeez, I say um a lot, don't I? But yeah, playing the box, having his ultimate doing all those because i think in brawl his ultimate he would like get on a helicopter and, and shoot at the players i don't know did his ultimate change it in did it change an ultimate and with his final smash i don't know if it uh i don't know if it changed i'm pretty sure it did i don't know what it is though it's interesting um next i mean i'll talk about uh the character who's cosplaying a snake the name is uh chaos cookie it's a really good friend of me and mine and roses uh we try to incorporate a lot of our friends just because you know it's more personal it's more fun but we do have slots open if you guys are anyone who wants to do it uh, you can leave a comment down below the video or message us on Twitter. Our handle is in the description, but it's utterly meowjic. Very simple, very easy. Uh, so either Twitter DMs or comments down below, either one, you, you know, engage with the, the video. But we left, like there, there are still a couple characters and there are characters who have been claimed but not yet paid for uh, i guess we should explain that so we're doing the payment very simple it's not you know we're not doing it for the money we're doing it for this project but you know get some money out of it we do ranging from 10 to 20 dollars depending on the character and like how popular it is average is 15 that's kind of what we have deemed the most appropriate um so yeah it's not anything but with I, oh sorry with the you, you know buying the slot you get the individual image of just your character and then you'll get access to the greater image as a whole and then once all the characters are done we are going to create small smaller group pictures of different groups so we'll have all the guys all the girls uh, you'll have all the mario characters all the donkey kong characters uh, villains princesses you know just any kind of combination we can come up with to get more so the poses will all be the same they'll just be uh changed up and Uh, position differently to get little smaller group shots just to make it a more dynamic and more fun because the idea of this piece is to it basically like group pictures at a convention so it's not meant to be like oh they're actually in the game it's oh there's a convention and they all these people were different smash characters and they were all brought together for a picture 
that's kind of the idea of this piece. That's why we're doing it. Just to have some fun with it. It's very, you know, it's it's very. Uh, it's supposed to be very chill. It's not meant to be a. Oh yeah, you gotta fight for this position. So if there's a character that you want that hasn't been paid for, there's a chance you could still have it because if they don't pay, then they don't obviously get the spot. So uh, if you have any questions about available characters, just uh, like I said, DM us on Twitter or message or comments down below. We are accepting pony, furry, Pokemon OCs, like, po like actual Pokemon characters. Um, any, we're trying to avoid human at all costs. Uh, everything's going to be Anthro. It's just going to be very, you know, lax, chill, whatever you want to uh, talk about it. It's just meant to be a uh, fun, chill thing. Anyway, on that note, I'll talk about my coloring because I do not do any of the drawing, the line art, pose, that's all rose. I only help with the coloring. I find it enjoyable, it's relaxing. I like, you know, coloring inside the lines. And I know there have been a couple people who said I could do it so much, there's so many easier ways to do it. And I know it's not a matter of the inability to do it other ways. I just like doing it this way because it makes me feel like I'm coloring a coloring book. But I get, you know, gonna make it for YouTube. So it's, it's really exciting. Oh, hello, Snake. <laughs> but we, have this system where Shill or Rose will do the sketch, do the line art, I'll color it, and then then she will do the shading and smaller details that I just don't have the talent to do. So now we're getting into the, uh, I mean, we've been coloring for a while, so I shouldn't say we're just getting into the coloring. But I, you know, I really like how this one turned out coloring wise. It, I didn't go too extreme with the trying to get certain patterns or anything into it. Cause it's just his, his basic gray suit. But yeah, I just love, she's holding a grenade. It's sitting in a box, very casual, very, I mean, it's a it's a fake grenade because this is a cosplay and real grenades would have not have been allowed in the convention hall <laughs> so but yeah just i guess i could also read off some of the names that are or the characters that are still available since i really and honestly don't know too much about snake so i gotta fill time so let me just pull up that list of available characters so right now, we have Mario. So these are all the characters that are available. So if you are interested in any of these characters, just let just let us know, because we can work with you. Uh, Mario, Donkey Kong, Samus, Dark Samus, uh, Ness, Jigglypuff, Ice Climbers, and with Ice Climbers, you get both slots. So if you have two characters, then you can do that. Price stays the same. We're not charging more for multiple characters in this aspect because like i said this is supposed to be fun uh chic dr mario pichu falco ganondorf mewtwo roy from game and watch meta knight pit wario ike squirtle ivasaur diddy kong lucas king ddd uh rob toon link villager uh little mac the three Mii Fighters, uh, Pac-Man, Robin, Bowser Jr. We're also gonna see if we can get all seven Koopalings as well. So Ludwig, Wendy, you know, Roy, all those fun people. They'll also, if we can get enough people who are interested, you know, those will be separate characters and those are gonna be on the cheaper side. So those ones will probably be 10 bucks each. If you guys are curious, um, 
Ryu, Ken, Corin, Inkling, Ridley, uh, Riker, King K. Rule, Incineroar, uh, Terry, Bleff, Min Min, Steve and Alex, you know, if multiple people, we'll also throw in Zombie and Enderman, but that's just if we can get enough, you know, attention on it. Um, and then Kazuya is the last one. So if, like I said, uh, those are all the characters that are available. Um, there are some who haven't paid, like the characters that have been claimed, but they haven't paid yet. So if there's, you know, talking to them, if they have no, if they've changed their mind and don't want to be a part of it anymore, or they just haven't paid when we start getting to, to their characters, then those characters will also be open. Uh, but if they have paid, if you've paid and you've claimed your character and you've paid, that character is yours. Nothing can be done about that. Like that is your character. You're not going to give it to anyone else. So, but we're very lax. You don't have to pay right away because we have so many people who have paid. So we, we have quite a bit of, we have a quite a backlog of characters that have been paid for so it's not really any rush just kind of take it as you go and i think with that we will end this video here thank you all so much for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and share this video around with your friends spread the news or spread the word and we will see you next time bye guys